Now we brought you the huge breaking news that Angel Di Maria will be holding talks with Manchester United this week. It's caused a huge stir on Twitter, as you can imagine. Let's see what you've been saying. Let's start off with Sky Sports' Gary Neville and his view on the situation. I know it's early and it's speculation, but Di Maria fits the bill for United 100%. And of course, you, the viewers, have been getting in touch with us here at Sky Sports News HQ. Let's see what you've said. Well, Nay Briggs says, marquee signing fans have been craving for. Awesome signing if it happens. And the right player in the number seven shirt. Let's go on to Josh. He says, a brilliant player and suits well to the formation we'll play because he tracks back a lot but still doesn't sort out the defence problems. Now, Chris has also been in touch with us this evening over this huge breaking news to us here at Sky Sports News HQ. This is what Chris says, a world-class player comes available. A manager like Louis van Gaal will definitely have a system in mind to utilise him effectively. We start with the big breaking transfer news tonight. We understand that Angel Di Maria will hold talks with Manchester United next week. Sky Sports Spanish expert Guillaume Balaké has learned that a deal is close and that the Argentine wigger will cost between 48 and 56 million pounds. Di Maria has chosen Manchester United as his next, next club. Uh, he became very clear from the moment on Friday when he was left out of the squad that he could not stay at Real Madrid. And after that, conversations are taking place between both clubs and things are going pretty quickly. George Mendes, who is the intermediate of this uh, transfer, is travelling from Singapore back, uh, back to Europe to finalise the whole thing. There are meetings that will take place early uh, next week. And the plan is, uh, there's even a price. It could be between 60 million and 70 million million euros what Manchester United seem to be willing to pay for the player. The valuation Real Madrid seems to be happy with as well. And Di Maria will wear the number seven shirt at Manchester United, the legendary number seven An shirt. An iconic number at Manchester United. There is nobody at Real Madrid, nobody, that did not want Di Maria to continue, except one person. <laughs> the most important person. Florentino Perez had decided that he was not to stay at Real Madrid, that he was actually uh, going to invest money on James, that he was going to pay more to James. Di Maria was upset about that. He will explain in a letter once he signed for Manchester United why he's left, but mostly it's because Florentino Perez didn't want him to be there. What part did Cristiano Ronaldo play in this deal? A very important part because uh, Di Maria had a PSG offer, which was 8 million euros net, which he was happy with. It was an idea of going to Paris to live, etc. But Cristiano Ronaldo has convinced him that Manchester United is the place to go. Yes, there is no European football, but in any case, what you've got is a team with a project, with, for me, one of the top managers in the world ever, almost. Somebody who wants to do not just a, a, a competitive first team, but change the club. And Di Maria is very excited about that. It seems like he, he won't be the last uh, signing that Manchester United will do. He hasn't been signed yet, but uh, it will all take place very early next week. Di Maria was left out of rail score for the Spanish Super Cup defeat to Atletico Madrid last night. And ahead of the game, Carlo Ancelotti confirmed that Di Maria had asked to leave. The club and myself agree on Di Maria's situation, which is clear because the player asked to leave in the summer and rejected an offer from the club, and that is why we tried to find another player. That's it. This is a situation that has to be solved by the player himself. Di Maria wasn't a prolific scorer for Real Madrid last season. In 34 games, he scored just four goals, but he had a superb record for assists. He set up 17 goals. That's one every other game and also created 91 chances. I don't really believe Ancelotti when he says doesn't need Di Maria. I think Di Maria is a very, very uh, important player in that squad uh, in terms of that verticality, that, that, that style of play in midfield. I don't think he has that type of player right now. Uh, I understand obviously with the squad they have, he needs to, to get someone out, but I wouldn't do Di Maria. For Manchester United, it's, it's fantastic, I think. Uh, it's going to give a different dimension to, to the club. Well, it looks like it is going to be a colossal transfer. One or two developments to bring you right up to speed with. Uh, so far this evening, Manchester United have declined to comment on this news. But in Spain, Marca, newspaper with close contacts with Real Madrid, are saying that the deal is going to go ahead and they are putting the figure at £56 million.
Right, interesting stuff. Here at the social media desk, we've been asking you, uh, to, we've, been, we've been asking you what you think about this potential Ankel Di Maria signing for Manchester United. Let's start at the top here. Uh, in Delirium 1, it's Zaid, his name is. Huge signing will lift everyone at the club. Fits Van Hal's philosophy, philosophy perfectly. United have the best attack now. Okay, so very happy with that. Scott D. Coates. It's hard to say in the current system that Van Hal likes to play. I think the formation may be changed. That's a good point, of course. Van Hal likes his 3-5-2. It's hard to see Di Maria play as a wing-back. He may have to change the formation to fit him in on the wing. Uh, Akar Red, Akar Red, something like that. Amazing player. Great investment. It can be a great sign for other world-class players to join United. Good point. And we've got Gerard Danny. Again, to do with the formation, no idea where he will play unless Mata drops into midfield and LVG puts Di Maria in the hole. And just to remind you, uh, Gary Neville has tweeted about this as well. He says, I know it's early, but Maria fits the bill for United 100%. Well, now we're doing a poll on this, and uh, the question is, is Ankel Di Maria the player that Manchester United needs. So that poll is open now, quite simply. Do you think he's the right man for Manchester United or not? Yes or no? So there's a massive breaking story tonight, and the man that broke it on the Spanish football coverage tonight on Sky Sports, Guillaume Balaguer, will be joining us in the...